Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today I'm going to discuss with you June 2020 and first variant of AS level mathematics. <clears throat> so first of all, in the question number one, he says, the sum of the first nine terms of AP is this much. So best technique, write as uh, as nine sum of nine terms is one one seven, and some of the next four terms, uh, I repeat, some of the first nine terms is you know first word is there first word, but here he said next four terms, some of the next four terms, so I mean to say one till nine sum is is this much sum of nine terms, and next four terms. So 10, 11, 12, and 13. This is called some of the uh, next four terms. Some of the next four terms is 91. So it means this 117 and this is a 91. So if I add them all, uh, because it's so 7 plus 1, 8, and uh, 9 plus 1, 10, 208. Make sure, make sure. Uh, we can do another way even, but I think this easier. It means some of the, the uh, some of the nine from here and four from nine plus four, nine plus four, 13. Some of 13, ter first 13 uh, terms is 208. Now I think uh, we, because we have a formula, which formula we use, uh, it, is, it gives always uh, the sum of the start from one till what term we want. We want. For example, for example, we are looking for uh, first one to one, two, three, four. Uh, so some formula give you always start from one till number. So let's start n divided by two times two two a, or I can do the formula full as n equals to n divided by two two a plus n minus one into d. And this formula I write two times. S n equals to n divided by two to a plus n minus one into d. Here I replace n as a nine. Here I replace n as a thirteen. Here I replace s nine both sides. Nine over two to a plus uh, nine nine plus nine minus one give you eight. So eight d. And you know it very well that S9 is 117. So here I got 117 equals to 9 over 2. But I think so if I take two common from these two terms, I got A plus 4D and these two cancel out. <clears throat> and this 9 goes there. Uh, 9 was a 9, 9 3 is a 27. So first equation I got finally. I say equation number one. And now same way, I can find the other equation. I replace every n by 13, left side and right side. So two times two a plus 13 goes there. 13 minus one, we got a 12 d. So I think so S13, we can easily plug in 208. And this again, I can take common out two and the bracket a plus 6d. And this two to cancel out again. So if you check it, <clears throat> so, so what, it means 208. If I divide by 13, I get 16. So 16 is here <clears throat> and a plus 6d. Now I, will, I can solve them simultaneously. <coughs> So if I solve them simultaneously, so the 16 equals to A plus 6D and 13 equal to A plus 4D. Sign must change, change, A cancel, I get three here and out of six, four gone two. So D, D value is coming three by two or 1.5. So both answers are correct. Okay, and he was asking, find what first term and common difference. So we got a common difference, this value, I can plug it in anywhere. 
I plug in one. So I'm seeing here, put in one, put in one. Friction is better because it save our time. Four times two, three by two. These two cancel to two, so we got a six. 13 is equal to A plus six. And out of six, if you get, you subtract, you out of 13, six gone. So A is equal to seven. I hope so, the point is very clear. Uh, question number two, the coefficient of one over X is equals to this. Okay, I repeat. It means I'm looking for one over X coefficient. Okay, and he finds the value, the constant, positive constant K. It means maybe I get two answers, one positive, one negative. I will take positive only. One by one expand, Bismillah rahman rahim kx plus one over x to power five. First of all, I expand uh, five c zero. Then five c one. Keep your eye on, <coughs> keep your eye on uh, one over x coefficient. For example, if I keep it here, kx, and here one by x. Here kx, here one by x. Here. What is the power of the first bracket? The difference of five and zero. Five minus zero is like this. And the zero goes on second term directly. Again, five and one subtract. I get here five minus one. And here, this number comes directly. So you can see from here, if I type one more uh, function, five C two, KX to power five minus two, and one over x to power two. So it is, we can see that still, we, we can't, uh, I mean to say, uh, we cannot uh, get the answer. So what is my approach? I think we should write it here and we expand one more term. Now 5c3, I think so, my target will come from here. How I just tell you, here I have, here I have three. And look at here, five minus three gave you two. It means this term I will get from here x square. I just show you. And here, this is a cube of x is one by x. So this is my target as he sends this much. No need to evaluate the whole thing. Uh, just uh, like uh, I'm looking for that. So term involving, term involving one over X. So no need to waste time. So I just type that answer only. Like what is five C3, what, what is a five C3 is five C3 is a 10. <clears throat> so I've just type all together five, C3 giving you 10. And what is this? And x to power two sir. X to power two separate. And one over x to power three come from here. Now I simplify and I get what 10k to power two times to one over x. And make sure this is called coefficient of one over x. But we have to do the other one as well. So let's proceed the second one. Second one, let's see how we can do it. Power eight. So how we can find one over x coefficient. Uh, you know, it's very clear approach. So let's see what happened. Eight C zero, one to power eight minus zero. Negative two over x to power zero. Okay, now uh, next term eight c zero one two sorry eight c one eight c one eight c one and one to power eight minus one and minus two over x to power one. I think we have to stop here. Logically very clear. Here no x, here no x, but here I will get x one over x, and that is my my concern. So term involving over X. So 8C1 is, it, it's 
one is eight, eight. Whenever you can see that one involved in the first starting stage, don't waste time in writing this and this, okay? Simply write 8C0, B to power zero, 8C1, B to power one. This way we can save our time. Anyway, um, this one power of negative two separate and one over x separate. So, so, uh, so this is done. So I got what here? Negative 16 times to one over x. Now, because you can see that there is a plus sign in the middle. So one over x. Here and one from x from here, and then add them. And then I will to say that. Coefficient is equal to 74. So first of all, I will add them. So this plus this. So 10 n k square plus one, sorry, not plus, times two. One over x uh, plus, this is the first term from here, and negative 16 into one over x. So I'm writing here as to how much I'll take coefficient on. So forget it, 10 k to the power two and plus into minus giving you minus 16 equal 74, uh, 74 plus two is equals to 10 to k to the power two is equal to nine. Two. Simply I take a root and we got two answers. Uh, k is equals two plus and minus three. But as he said on the top, positive constant. So I will take only and only positive. So this is my final answer. <clears throat> Let's go for next question. Next question he's asking here. Uh, <clears throat> so here in this question, he mentioned that each year the selling price of diamond like this is increased by 5%. Make sure increase or decrease some percentage is always called geometric progression. And increase, we take one plus five by 100 and it become 1.05. And let's say it's decreased by 5%, so one minus five by 100. So here, increase one plus. So I hope so, the concept is clear. And selling price is uh, in this year, in 2000 is this much. So I will take this as a starting value, $36,000. Okay, write an expression for the selling price in end year later the word later i just give you an idea for example 2000 year we consider as n1 2001 we take n2 2002 we take n3 you can have a connection you can check it here like uh, if year 3 here 4 here 2 here 3 always one more so if n comes, so n will be n plus one. I hope so you got a point. Like this number, one add, you got this two. This two, one add, you got a three. In this number, you add one, you got a four. And in this number, add one, you got n plus one. I think formula is clear now. So Tn is equals to a r to power n minus one. We have a formula. So I replace the values. So Tn is equals to A is 36,000. We you know it very well. And R is 1.05. And power is N, N plus one, N minus one. Actually N plus one is the value of N and minus one already present. So they will cancel out. And this is my final answer. So Tn is equals to 36,000 into 1.05 to power n. I hope so the point is clear. And <clears throat> same way, uh, he's asking that hence find the in 2008. Again, I say that 2000 is a, in one, 
So 2001 is two, so two become three. So if eight comes here, 2008, so I will take N as a nine. So make sure so N is a nine. So R remains same, 1.05, A remains same, $36,000. But N value is, is, is for A, 2008, we can take a nine, okay? So I hope so, point is clear. T N is equals to A R to power N minus one. So $36,000 and 1.05 and power is nine minus one. And final answer, <clears throat> I mean here nine. So T N is equals to, uh, if you type in calculator and let me check myself. It is coming 36,000 times to 1.05 and power is eight. So answers coming 53188.39 onwards. And you know what is method? We write it three SF. We need, we need, we need, we don't want. So five, three, two, double zero dollars, okay? So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, points clear. Next part is asking here, is asking here the, prop, the company makes necklace only selling one each year. Find the total money of the, uh, total amount of money obtained in the 10 years period. So again, it is $36,000. <clears> Common ratio as usual, 1.05. And 10, N becomes now 10. And we're looking for SN and formula is SN very clear because R value is bigger than one. Make sure if bigger than one, so we use a formula, uh, R to power N minus one over R. Make sure if R value is bigger than one, we use this formula. If R will come before and one will go later. But if I have a R value is less than one, so formula of sum is different. Then one come before and R goes later. You see, this one come before R later, here reverse. So this is a major difference between R less and more. So now just simply plug in the values as 10, 36,000 in the place R 1.05 to power 10 minus one over 1.05 and minus one. And after rounding that the answer, uh, let me check. Mm, yeah, after rounding, it is coming three SFs of 453 and triple zero dollars. S10 answer is coming. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Let's go question number four. <clears throat> this question number four, uh, whenever we have this kind of idea, for example, trigonometric sine or cause, especially sine or cause. We must need to know what is this number, half, what this number, this one, and what this number, this one, okay? So I just explain you in a sh short time, the adding or subtracting element is always called excess and three by two multiplying with cause or sine is called amplitude. And this two is called number of cycle, NOC, number of cycle. And let me tell you one thing, I will make a, a you know, this is a peak, okay? This is a like a least. And where is average? So average is somewhere here in the middle, okay? So I show again what I'm saying. I'm showing the middle line. This is very important to know. This is called axis, axis. So it means this half will come here. So half will come here. And, and what is the way to find amplitude? All of you know, wind curve goes up and down. So this line represent axis. And this gap from here till here, or from here till here, both gaps are called amplitude. I'm writing AMP and AMP. And how to find amplitude? 
from uh, you know this is a <clears throat> how to get the highest value so in axis if i add amplitude i get a peak value so where is axis is this where is amplitude three by two so in axis i am adding in axis i am adding amplitude so i'm writing simply you understand axis plus amplitude and axis minus amplitude so axis is half amplitude is three by two i get two here so two and axis is half amplitude again three by two i get negative one so it means the peak value is here is two and this least value which i can guess from here is like this not this number okay this number is giving as negative one and the top value is two. So I hope so, you understood. So what's the range? Range is called along Y axis, what's the highest and lowest value? So range, I can say easily, <clears throat> the range is very clear. Y highest value is two and lowest value is minus one. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I believe you got the idea. And let's talk about the next part. <clears throat> next part is also one of the most important parts. Actually, I just tell you one thing. Uh, in, in, if you read a question, FX is such that, G, sorry, a function G, G function is such that in function of F, it means this function of F. If I add K, if I add some number, okay, K is a constant, constant, positive constant. If I add any number where with this equation, so what happened, the axis, the X axis is a tangent to the curve. Okay, it means this, and you, before I start, I just tell you, I bring on this textbook concept. Look at here, this is a very important concept. Whenever in function we add something, it is called, uh, it, the, the whole object moves A upwards. If in the from function, if I subtract something, the whole object will go downwards. Okay, this is called translation y-axis, okay? But if the same a come in the bracket with x like this, and this minus sign is fixed, this minus sign is fixed. Let me write fixed word, fix. Then this minus a, <coughs> so means I am going left side a units, and this plus a means I'm going right side a units. Now we talk about, because very clear sense plus K. So now I'm go back to diagram. I believe inshallah you understand. So plus K means you, the particle, the object, the object, because it is very clear FX plus K. So the thing is it's moving upwards, parallel to Y axis, one unit up, okay. So one unit K, K unit up, okay. And in such a way that this curve, X axis become a tangent to curve. It is only possible if this whole black curve, you can see here, is shifted such a way, look, I should try to show you. So this curve will become like this, okay? It is not that much accurate. Anyway, so this point must shift here. And not only one, this point, this point, all, all points of curve, if shifting upwards is very clear. And how much shifting upwards is a very clear, how much this gap? So this gap we must know, we need to know, and is a very clear approach one. So it means this, this gap is one. So it means a whole curve, if shift upwards uh, one units, one unit upwards. So it means it will give us, the curve will become tangent to. So it means this K value is one because I know that this is negative one means this, this point is one box, one unit below X axis. So it means we can say that K value is sharp one. After that, he is asking us um, a state of value of K hence describe fully the transmission maps F onto G. So I think easy to explain it. And we can say it is a translation. Translation. 
okay, by column vector x0, y1. What is this meaning? Because it is the object is going one unit upwards. Or you can say that uh, is it's we're going a vertically one unit up. Okay, so or you can write here translation one unit upwards, upwards, upwards. So I hope so. You got a point. There are two way to write it. Anyway. Uh, next part, state the equation of the curve which reflect a uh, whole function f of x, f of x, not g of x you talk about, in x-axis. It means the original curve, the black curve, not after the one unit up, not talk about red curve, the black curve. is asking what happens if I want to reflect in x-axis, give you answer in this form, and okay, I will take you back again again on the textbook concept so you can understand and this is a reflection concept i'm going to explain to you if you want to reflect anything in x-axis so multiply whole equation with a minus one i repeat my words again if you want to reflect in x-axis multiply whole equation with a minus one for example this is a three this is a have all values if multiply minus one all values will get negative y value, so it will go down. So reflect in x axis. For example, what is number here? One into minus one, I get minus one. What number here? Yeah, what number here? Three into minus, I got a negative three. So every value. So this is a very clear approach. And uh, replace every x by minus x, it will reflect y axis. So, so simple now, I'm discussing x axis. So let's talk about x-axis. So this equation, I'm multiplying with a minus one. That's it. So f of x is norm, actually 3 by 2, time to cos 2x plus half. <clears throat> if multiply whole equation by, multiply by minus one. So it turns to be, if it turns to be what? So negative three by two uh, cos double x and negative half. If I multiply this plus become minus and this plus become minus and that's it. So this is a, you can say that this is a after reflection in a x axis, alhamdulillah. Uh, equation of the line y equal to mx plus c. <clears throat> and uh, equation of curve is this one given by him. And he says that uh, line is tangent to curve whenever we need M in terms of C to find out. So make sure whenever we have three concepts, you know it very well. One concept is line is not intersecting. Second concept is, second concept is if line is, uh, for example, uh, I give you an idea. If line is and uh, touch the curve, third option we have, third option we have what? that is cutting at two points. Here in this option, b squared minus four is c. Oh, wait a minute, it's a space issue. <clears throat> b squared minus four is c less than zero. This option, b squared minus four is c equal to zero. This option, b squared minus four is c bigger than zero. Read a statement now, he's saying uh, tangent though, the word tangent, so this equal to zero concept. So, <clears throat> but before we start, we must plug in y equal to y, or we have to eliminate y or x, you wish. So I think so y by y, so we, we will get rid of y. This value of y, I'm going to plug in here, okay? Or this is, or make a y subject and, make, and put them equals to each other, no problem, we can do both okay. So I think so x, y equals to 16, and this y value I'm plugging here. So x times two, <clears throat> mx plus c, and 16 goes left side, become minus 16 equals to zero. <coughs> now x multiply inside, x times two x give you x to power two. x times two c give you cx. 
Now at this level, he can ask you three things, three things. One thing is no real solution. Second is tangent. Third is a, a, it cutting at two points. Now I write the word as tangent, as tangent. So what I can say that B square minus four AC must be zero. For your knowledge, what is A here? X square coefficient is called A. X coefficient minus C is called B. And this number including sine is called minus 16. So let's try to solve C to power two, four. This B value C and A value M and C value is minus 16. Simply I'm solving it. I get C to power two plus uh, 16. Uh, so 24 M equals to zero. And he asking what from us? He asking that find out, uh, uh, find out M in terms of C. So make an M subject. So C square goes there. So I will get what 64 M equals to minus C square. And this 64 will divide. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We got our answer. So <clears throat> now let's go for next. Next part, he said, is same question, same, uh, like uh, up till here, same connection. But he said, no, this time use M value minus four. So and set up value C, therefore the line intersect the curve at two distinct points. You saw, we got uh, this condition now. So it means that this process we should not do again. We already done. So this much process we have to do for every condition is not intersecting. Still, we have to do this process. If tangent, we do again, same process. And the last one, you've got the same process. Anyway, so now that is why I'm, I'm starting from here and move forward. So I'm replacing uh, M value what? Minus four. When I replace minus four here, I get minus four X to power two plus six X minus 16 equal to zero. Now, uh, what is A, B, A value? And now I say that as two distinct points, two distinct points are there. So it means this situation. Then what I will do my students, simply I will say B square minus four is C bigger than zero. <clears throat> so B is what? C to power two, A is what? Minus four, C is again, negative 16. I repeat my words, B value is this, I copied, A value is this and C value is this. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus, and 16 to power two, how are 16 to power two? Four, four, 16 and one 16. So 16 into 16, 16 to power two. Here we can see that both terms are power twos. You remember the formula A square minus B square when we apply uh, al basic algebra of factorization two terms, A one term, A plus B one term, A minus B. Same thing I apply here, C plus, I can write now here C plus six, uh, C plus 16 and C minus 16. And you know very well, we have these conditions, we draw this kind of bell shape. And one term this equal to zero, I get negative 16. One term this equal to zero, I get a plus 16. And how to read is a bigger sign. Bigger always means outside. Outside means what? This is called outside. There's only option if, if something is bigger than zero. And how to read this one? Less than six, minus 16. I'm writing my answer finally. C value is less than minus 16. And how to read? How to read this one? C value is bigger than is plus 16. <clears throat> so Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I believe you got the point clear. And well, let me tell you, if there's a less comes, so we arrows will not outside, arrow will be inside like this, okay? So I think you can do it easily yourself. Go question number next, <clears throat> question number six. In this question, he says what uh, G, G of two equal to 10. And what is your process here? First of all, put two in G and the whole thing put again in G. This is a whole idea. So let's see how we can fulfill. First of all, make your habit, a bit of writing equation as it is done. Then how many X's you have 
leave empty spaces both right and left both side like this x empty space this x empty space and then uh, what i will do because uh, okay i think we can do first two better put two both sides so two left side two right side so i got g of two is equal to six plus b <coughs> so you can see that i got g of two easily now hold the g of two i will plug in and g once again so now i'm saying here again First of all, I copy again G function, that is 3X plus B. Uh, left side, I will keep empty space. Right side, I'll keep empty space like this. Wait a minute. Okay. Now what to do after that? Mm, what to do in the place of this X, because G of two have to put G of two is this will go in this place and value go this way. Repeat. Function name go left side, function value go right side. And I'm writing it both here. G of two comes here and six plus B comes here. And G, G of two is actually equal to how much? 10. So left hand side, I'm removing and writing 10, three, six and three into B. So I get 18 plus three B and plus B. So I get 18 goes there. I get a negative eight and here four B because three B plus B and four divides and ultimately i get negative two alhamdulillah rabbil alameen i believe the point is very clear now he's saying this interesting part what to do in this kind of question let me tell you we rather than finding an f inverse it will take a lot of time not a lot of time but we have a short technique if i bring function of f on the right hand side the inverse will eliminate i'm going to do here inshallah i believe you will understand what the concept here if I bring f inverse of 2 equals to 14, if I bring f inverse on the other end, so 2 will be left behind and f inverse will become f only and 40 will come in the bracket. So let's start. And what does f14 means? Like first copy function of f of x, then what? Then replace every x by empty space and every empty space by 14. That's it. I hope so, got the idea. So I'm just showing it here and then I will play. So 14 comes here and 14 comes. Here. So that is why this answer I'm going to plug in here because half of 14 is same. So this value is coming here. And I believe you got, are getting the idea, half time to X and minus A. And wait a minute, <clears throat> an A value is, and hold on, hold on. I did one mistake here. Yeah, 14. So it's not half, it's for half of 14. So I should write it half of 14 and minus A. So two is equal to two sevens of 14. A goes left side and two goes there and seven minus two. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, I believe you got a point. <clears throat> this question, it means the upper part will help us to solve it below. Come back next part. He's saying, what is this process? Right side function f. This time we have no in the bracket, nothing in the bracket. If we have a number three or whatever, eight or one thing, we will plug in first an f and then plug in in a g. But here, no, nothing is there. Then it means I will take full function of f and replace in g. So let's start. So first of all, I copy function of g. And function of g is 3x plus b. 3x plus b. Now I replace every x by empty space both sides. Okay. And left hand side, I write function of f as I know I have to plug in. And right hand side is value, and value is a half x minus a. Half x minus a. Half x minus a. <clears throat> so this is, I'm going to finalize my answer. So three multiply inside, three multiply inside, three by two. So I get a here, three divided by two times two X. And same three times two A and plus B. And, uh, <clears throat> but I think so, we got the value because uh, he said, sorry, I saw now, he said use A value, B will the same. So it make question easier anyway. A value is five, B minus two. A value is five. 
and minus 2. So finally, 3 with this one and 15 minus 2, uh, minus 1, 15 minus, one, minus 17. So G F of X. <clears throat> okay. So I hope so the point is very clear. Let's go question number seven. The topic is now trigonometry. So we have to prove it. And let me show you the basic concept three by two plus five over seven. Example, seven and two, we can't take common up. We can't take common out. Two into seven is my LCM and seven multiplied there and two multiplied there. This is a, this is a very important process. Same story here apply. I say left and side. I will take left and side only, left and side only. So cos theta times two, one plus sine theta. The way I multiply two and seven and write down here, same sign, cos and one plus sine, I will write down. And second, you know, this seven multiply with this three and this two multiply with the five because there's nothing common. Like sometime, you know, here two and seven, such, such a number, for example, here four and here eight. Then we have LCM, we can find easily four ones or four twos are. This kind of question, we can't do this kind of process. We have to take LCM properly and then solve, solve further. So this multiply with that and this multiply with that. So let's see. So one plus sine theta times to one plus sine theta and plus and cos multiply with the cos. So I can say here, cos theta into cos theta. <clears throat> so one multiply, one multiply, sine multiply, sine multiply. So it means four product. One one's a one, one to sine becomes sine. Sine into one is sine and sine time to sine give you sine square. And what about this cos time to cos give you cos square. <clears throat> and we know that sine square plus cos square is a one. We have a fixed criteria. So one to, and sine plus sine give you two sine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is a sine plus sine plus one. <coughs> I'm getting cos theta and one plus sine theta as it is. Okay, now what to do? Uh, one plus one give you what? Two. Okay, you can see that we are approaching our target easily. From what is common from the top two common? One plus sine left and down. I have a cos theta into one plus sine theta. And this cancel out whole thing. Short way, I, a short story, I got this thing, which is a totally match with that, is right inside. So we have, let's put part B, and part B is a connection, connect with the part the A. How come? Because this whole thing, I repeat, this left, whole part equal to this one. It means where I find this kind of thing, I can replace by two work cos, two work cos. And let's move on next page. Check, this is the same matching. So I can, I will copy here what? By part A, by part A. And what was that answer? Two over cos, so <clears throat> two over cos. So two over cos, I replace left hand side. 2 over cos theta. <clears throat> now, what to do? Sine goes there, and, and then there has become 2 sine theta over cos theta equal to 3. And sine by cos give you 10 theta, and 2, two goes on right hand side under it. And I believe up till here, okay. So now take tan inverse. <clears throat> 1.5 and <clears throat> if I find in the calculator uh, because you know it very well 
10 is positive is first quadrant and a third quadrant. And we given two pi. Pi means confirm. We have to convert our calculator in radian mode. So first of all, I will convert into radian mode. And uh, wait a minute. I will convert units. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we are looking for what the mode, what mode, radian mode. Okay, I have radian now, and I am typing tan inverse one point five. It is giving me zero point nine eight three, and this is coming here zero point nine eight three, and this is coming here zero point nine eight three. <clears throat> but we are looking for the angle and what is rule of measurement is the first answer and this to this is second answer. So I'm writing first answer is uh, 0 0.983. And you know, all of you know this is what a straight line angle is always called pi and plus this angle. So pi plus pi plus 0 0.983. So if I add here plus, uh, by <clears throat> 0 0.983 and 4.12. And this is, you know, reason because we have to convert into radian and, and 3SF is compulsory. Degree, if our angle come in degree mode, degree mode, 1 dp. If in radian mode, then we must see SF. So Alhamdulillah, <laughs> Rabbil Alameen. The point is very clear. Uh, question number eight. What a question number eight we have. He's saying find the perimeter of the shear region. Okay. Okay. Let's read the question first. ABC is semicircle and diameter AC it is a diameter. Okay. Then what? Red is a six. Okay. It means six, 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 six or six. Till, till C. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So, and length of the RKB is 15 centimeter. Okay, so this arc length is given by him is 15 centimeter. And uh, X lies and XB is a perpendicular. This means this is a 90 degree for sure. The job number one, I think we have one question part is only here. Perimeter of shader region. How to find perimeter? Have a look. Shader region. Can I say perimeter means um, B to X, X to C, and arc length? The three length I'm looking for. I'm writing all three. Perimeter means B to X, straight length, X to C, second straight length, and C to B, arc length. So we have three. Uh, uh, we need a length to add. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> how to fulfill the demand? First of all, this angle theta I'm looking for. If I don't have this angle, we can't solve it. And six, 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 six. So OB six. So OB six, this is an interesting part. So two parts, we have it. A problem, sorry, theta, we don't have it. If I find this angle, this I give a name as alpha angle. So if I find alpha, I can find theta. But how to find alpha? Oh, Auckland is given by him. So let's try to fulfill this is a step number. So I'm writing here. Auckland formula, every person knows S is equals to R theta. And S is given by him is 15 and, and R is given by him is 6. <clears throat> so theta, not theta, I'll call name as a, okay, no problem. I change the plan. I give a name, this is theta and this is alpha. So theta is uh, 3 fives are and 3 twos. Are. So answer is, is 2.5. So the radian is 2.5. Okay, 2.5. And it means that 2.5 is where this angle is 2.5. But what is alpha then? Pi minus 2.5. Why pi? Because straight line always 180 degree, but we'll not call 180 degree because the topic of circular measure. So we will take as a radian pi because 180 degree and pi are they are same so i hope so the point is very clear
<clears throat> so let's see now how to complete it. We are close to finish. Uh, first of all, I use Sokka Tua and this triangle is compulsory. And this angle is how to get alpha angle. Alpha, yeah. Alpha is pi minus 2.5. So here I'm writing pi minus 2.5 and this is a six, okay. Now I'm looking for O, B, X. This is O and this is B and this is X. So how to get a, <clears throat> here I'm looking for, make sure if I'm looking for X, B, it's only possible to find, you know, this six, this six, this six, this six, and this six. So how to get this X, B from six subtract O, X. Uh, like from, uh, because six minus O, X. But issue is what is a O, X? So then it means why I have used Soka to I need two things. I'm looking for BX, I'm looking for OX. So let's start. Uh, opposite by hypotenuse <clears throat> is called sine theta. So I'm writing here BX by six equal to sine pi minus 2.5. And six multiply with here and BX directly answer, I'm finding it. In this way, I can save my time. <clears throat> so, 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 if you multiply here and make sure calculate between radian mode six times to sign uh, pi minus 2.5. And I am getting here 3.591 centimeters. Uh, BX, I got it. Now, similar way, I got OX. I will get OX. O OX is called adjacent or adjacent by hypotenuse. It is giving you cause. <coughs> so I'm finding OX, and OX is coming what? Uh, simply right here, cause. So six times to cause. So coming 4.807 centimeters. 4.807, correct. Now I'm finding the uh, final answer. So all of you know what is the parameter. I'm putting everything in one. So put in one. So parameter is my, connect, my concern. Have a look here. What is a BX directly? I will take BX. BX. So what is BX it directly is BX is a 3.591 plus. So BX, I got it. And now I'm looking for uh, XP, what is XP? XP is this one, and which is six minus OX. I wrote even six minus OX. So six minus OX with a 4.807, done. Now last part and final part is arc length. But what is the arc length of CB? This arc length is looking for, and we can do it easily S is equal to R theta. <clears throat> R is six, theta is alpha, which is pi minus 2.5. I repeat, S is equals to R theta. R is this and theta is this. <clears throat> now typing in the calculator and you can find it easily. And I'm finding now, uh, simply type in calculator and answer of the parameter is becoming 8.63 um, centimeters. And this is my final answer. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I hope so. The point is very, very clear. Okay, let's talk about the next question. Uh, the, the, the curve, the equation of the curve. And let's see how we can do this part. So given by him, y is equals to three minus two x to the power three plus 24x. So what is first differentiation? Basic criteria, all of you know, the power three will come down. I mean, multiply. And from power one less, the base remains same. But some students forget to multiply the differentiation of the base. Like a three derivative is zero and negative two x derivative is two. So negative two, because two x derivative is two. So this is an awfully student miss it. And this 24 x derivative is 24. 
because we know that differentiation of x is one. Okay, this is clear. And negative two times two, three will give us negative six. Okay, and plus 24. First differentiation is completely over and now I'm going for second derivative. So again, again, so when a second derivative d2y over dx2, so again, this two will multiply with that. So we got a negative 12 and power become one and base remains same. And multiply again, same story, base differentiation one by one, but don't include power then, okay? So this derivative becomes zero and this derivative becomes negative two. And I have done this whole process here and 24 derivative is zero alone. <coughs> and finally, negative two into negative 12 becomes 24 positive and three minus two X. So I have finished both first derivative and second derivative. So what is the next part he's asking? Stationary coordinates we are asking for. So it means I have a first derivative and you know very well, I will plug in derivative equals to zero. And what is that? Uh, three minus two X to power two. Three, wait a minute. I have three, okay, my outside minus six. Okay, and three equals and plus 24, correct. All right. Now I can proceed and uh, according to statement, put first derivative equals to zero. Logic whenever curve turns, turns and turns at a turning point, whenever I draw a tangent, the tangent parallel to X axis and parallel to X axis, they have zero gradient and zero gradient. So gradient means derivative. So that is why we always plug in derivative zero. And when I plug in zero here, students, what happened? Negative six, three X minus two to power two plus 24. This whole thing, <clears throat> this whole thing with the negative sign, I bring left side become sign become positive. Equal 24. Six will divide under it and I get a four. And three X minus two to power two. Now only choice left, we take a root of both sides. So three X minus two equals two, the root of four is two, but we must write plus and minus. And we are looking what for coordinates actually, okay, of the each stationary point. So it means we have a two uh, possibility, possibility, three X minus two equal to plus two and three X minus two equals to minus two. This two goes there and I got a three X equals to four and x become four over three. But game is not over, we need for y coordinates. So I will plug in this four by three where? A four by three, I will replace here, here. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, three minus two x, three minus two x to power three. Okay. And this is okay, and plus 24x, plus 24x, plus 24x. Okay, now I will multiply this four over three here and four over three here. So <clears throat> logic, I'm going to replace um, the x values to get a y. And let me check. I'll check in calculating what I get the answer. And wait a minute, please. Uh, 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 four, five, uh, four, mm -hmm. just a minute. Uh, six, four, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And three, uh oh, I think here, mistake here, maybe it is three minus two. Okay, I mistake. Okay, while writing is mistake here, please make sure this is not, this is not that, uh, Alhamdulillah, on a time I saw this is different. That is why the answer is coming different. 
Okay. So what is the bracket here? 3 minus 2x, sorry. 3 minus 2x. So 3 minus 2x. 3 minus 2x. And 3 minus 2x. And 3 minus 2x. You saw? Just moving on next page. I have done this page mistake. Okay. 3 minus 2x. Even this. This was correct. And 3 minus 2x. <clears throat> and 3 minus 2x. So this minus 2x stay here. It goes to become minus 1 and x become 1 over 2. And mm, clear. And this is a negative 2x and this become negative 5 and x become 5 over 2. Sure. So 5 over 2 and that. Okay, after that, when I plug in this value and I get it type in calculator, uh, let me reach a three minus. Oh, yes, exactly. So answer is coming 20. So point is half comma 20. Same approach, I will plug in the other one, minus two times two, five over two, power three plus 24 times two, five over two. And final answer, which I am getting is here 52. So second point is very clear. I'm writing left side here, right side, sorry. <clears throat> X five by two and Y is 52. So I got two points very clear. Now nature, how to get nature students? We have already second derivative here, 24 times two, three minus two X. And I will do in two separate places. <coughs> So what a second derivative, check again. So three minus two X inside. Three minus two X. Three minus two X. And what is outside? Outside is 24. So 24 here and 24. Now what I will do, put X value. What is X value here? I'm putting half. And here, phi over two. Actually, this half I plug in here and this fiber two I plug in here. So let's see uh, what sign will come because sign will decide the nature. So 24, three minus two times two, one over three. Uh, when I check it, answer is coming. This is, um, mm -hmm. uh, wait a minute. It's not one by three, this is one by two, sorry. It's one by two. Two to cancel. I get a one, two to 48, positive 48. Is positive whenever come is called point of minima. Now I'm going to plug in five by two. This five by two, I plug in the place of X. So 24 outside three minus two times two, five over two. And uh, I'm getting here <clears throat> two to cancel out. I got a five minus three become minus two. So minus 48 is called maximum point. So I believe the point is very clear. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. This kind of question, when we try, best idea to, to draw the values almost close to accurate. Example, I make a rough first of all, where is minus one, minus two, almost here. Way seven four, approximately one two three four five six seven and one two three four. So somewhere here, you see this will behave as a diameter. He said, the coordinates A B uh, is become a diameter, and I think this in this way we can get our diagram more accurate and chances of mistake is less. Inshallah. So let's start. <clears throat> It, it, as he said here, uh, one negative two. So I think is better now. Uh, wait a minute, because I have to draw a reflection even then maybe it's okay. So I make it here. Okay. And I make it here. 
where is minus one is minus one minus two is approximately here, this point somewhere here. And seven, four, uh, all right, not that much accurate. Okay, I'd make it here, one, two here. And seven, four, I make it somewhere, somewhere here. Okay, now I draw a circle, although I can make a circle before because it's not easy to make now. Okay, I think I make again. This is a better. Okay, so this point is somewhere here is a coordinate and somewhere seven, four, it means this is a B coordinate, seven, four. And uh, <clears throat> a coordinate is negative one and negative two. And he's saying equation of a circle C with AB's diameter. So I take a scale and I make a diameter. And all of you familiar, this is a, a line joining. This is a diameter and center of circle is somewhere here. C, I call as a, uh, is a C is a circle, no problem. Now he's asking find, uh, but I'm, I could, I'll say take as M as, M as a midpoint. Okay, he said find equation of circle. So um, for equation of circle, we must need two things. What? Center coordinates and the radius. I don't have both. So first of all, midpoint formula I use. Okay, and formula is very familiar. X1 plus X2 divided by two. Same approach, Y1 plus Y2 divided by two. So I can label as X1, Y1 here and X2, Y2 here. You can label, okay. And negative one plus seven divided by two. I got seven from here, negative one from here. Same approach to, uh, I mean, it's a negative two. Negative two plus four divided by two. And I'm getting here one. And here I'm getting here three. So midpoint, <coughs> I mean center is three and one. Three and one, and center is clear now. And now I'm going for a uh, circle. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, wait a minute, eight. Mm. Coordinates of AB. Find equation of circle, AB is a diameter. Correct. A is diameter, AB is a diameter. So we got a center correct, and now I'm finding radius. How to find radius is a very clear radius is like a distance formula. And I will apply distance formula on an MB or AM. You can apply any. So I think I will apply on MB. Formula, all of you know Y2 minus Y1 whole square plus x2 minus x1 whole square. So where does uh, I, I'm applying from here? y2 minus y1. So four minus one and seven minus three. Four minus one is three, nine, nine. And seven minus three is four, so 16. And 16 and root of the whole thing is coming five units. So radius is coming here, alhamdulillah, Rabbilal, in five units. An equation of circle I'm writing now here. Basically formula is y minus y1 whole square, but not y1, you can say, uh, you can write the uh, au, okay? Y, oh, sorry, I, I start from x, but better, better. <clears throat> x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square equal to r to power two. You ask what is a b here, sir? a b is called center of circle. Let me write again, center a comma b. So center, I got three one. So this three will come in the place of a, this one will go in the place of b. So I'm writing here x minus three and y minus one. And the radius is five to power two. You stop it here or maximum, you expand the right-hand side. Don't, no need to expand left-hand side. So this is my answer for equation of a circle. And now he's asking for what part, equation of the tangent, find equation of tangent of 
at B, at B. So it means at B, I'll take a scale and make a equation tangent. Okay, maybe it's creating trouble for us. Wait a minute. Maybe space is problem only. So let me drag it. Hmm. Okay, no problem. This is enough, okay. Uh, all right. And I erase it. <clears throat> and I'm writing a coordinates, negative one, negative two. And now, okay. Now he's, what is saying here, equation of tangent. So equation of tangent is where? Equation of tangent, I'm going to make it at this point. You see, this is a tangent. I make a, a blue color or even black, no issue at all. This is called equation of tangent. <clears throat> and you know very well, always equation tangent and this one always 90 degree is a very clear approach. So I'm looking for this equation of the black line with equation of tangent. So let's see how we can find it. And you know it very well, um, what is the plan of action? Whenever equation of line required, let me write, I'm writing the formula first, then you can shall understand. Formula is y, y minus y1 equals to m times 2x minus x1. For this one, we need two things. One is a gradient we need, and second part we need what is a point. And point is B is very clear, I will use. And B part, B point is very clear, seven, four. So B seven, four is clear. So Y minus seven, Y minus four and X minus seven. Only problem is coming with a gradient. What is the finding gradient? So if I get a gradient of black line, I mean, tangent conversion is over. I think so using either AB or MB, I can find gradient of the line, okay. And then I use a negative reciprocal because blue line gradient, if I find, then I can find black line gradient easily. <clears throat> so let's find, let's start. First of all, I will find the gradient of AB. Gradient of AB is what, okay. Uh, I'm starting from here, y2 minus y1, so four plus two, over. And y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, so seven minus minus plus, seven plus one. And I got a six by eight in short form, <clears throat> three by four. Three by four gain of the tangent, uh, sorry, a tangent of uh, diameter, diameter. And because the 90 degrees, so it become negative reciprocal. And I will, I will find here minus four over three. And now this three multiply left side and this minus four multiply right side. So three times two y, three fours are 12, minus four x plus 28. <clears throat> three y is equals to minus four x and plus 40. Uh, yeah. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. He did not ask for special form. So this is my answer. One more thing he says, <clears throat> find equation of circle, which is a reflection of circle C in a line. Okay, I repeat, find equation of circle, which is a reflection of C circle in the tangent line T. It means that this is how we have, um, this line behave as a, uh, as a mirror, so means I have a circle here. I think I tried and I got it. So this is a, a circle, this is circle number two. And um, it means B is a common point on them, okay? And uh, this is, a, if I go straight forward, like this, look at it, look at here. So this gap equal to this gap, logic, this gap, this gap equal, <clears throat> I can find it. I can find it easily the center of circle, the other one. You know, what is the basic way we have? I will go for this and this is center, this is M dash or I give a name as N better. So this is a second center and how to find it? I will, M I have, B I have, I will use midpoint formula. So let's start. 
first of all what is a b74 b74 wait a minute please okay b is 74 <clears throat> This point N A B and this point M, we have it. And that is M, we have what? The center of circle. And that is a 3 1. I hope so you're understanding 3 1. So 3 1. Now, according to plan, this is gap equal to that because middle line. So I'm using a midpoint formula. Midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Similarly, y prime plus y2 divided by 2. And for your knowledge, I think it's clear approach. I explained to you here. This is midpoint 7 will not come in the place of x1, not x2, in the place of x, sorry. Logic, <coughs> let me make it easy for you. This is called x1, y1. This is called x2, y2. 7 is called x and 4 is called y. I think now you got a clear picture what I'm, I, I was saying. So I'm going to plug in, but make sure seven will come in the place of X. So seven equals two, three plus A divided by two. Two sevens are 14 and three plus A, three goes there. And I get here 11. Same Y, the midpoint Y is four and this is Y one and this one is Y two. So I hope so clear. Uh, so I'm writing it now here uh, for midpoint one plus B divided by two. I got eight, one plus B and B becomes seven. So the point N I'm looking for is, is 11 comma seven. Okay, but this is not our target to find. He said find equation of circle. So how to find the equation of circle? So it means radius remains same because why? This gap and this gap same. And radius, I got a five already. <clears throat> so equation of circle, of circle. Formula is X minus A whole square. Plus you have to memorize it. So this 11 will coming in the place of A7 coming in the place of B. <clears throat> and Y minus seven whole square equal to five square. Five square is 25, I think I can write 25. And this is my final answer. So I believe all of you understanding, let's go for the next question. Next question is a uh, last question here, number 11. And next question it says what here? Uh, we have given a curve, very clear mention, a question of curve. And this is a line, it's called secant line even. Uh, equation is stitching with the A, B, two points on the, on, the, on the curve. And his equation of line is given by him. Okay, if, um, what are planning, what a question he is asking here, read. Uh, intersecting the curve and the line intersect at A and B. It means, both this and this intersecting at A and B. And if I ask someone, ask you find A and B, I will solve them simultaneously. And he says, what the question, find the coordinates of A, B and C. Where is A, B? It means A, B will find by solving them simultaneously. So let's start. <clears throat> so this is my value, I'm going to plug in here. So let's start. 2y plus x equals to 8. Now 2y value 8 by x plus 2 plus x equals to 8. 2 multiply up only. Some students think by mistake that 2 multiply up and down also. No, no reason. It has two and 1 under it. So this multiply and 1 and under multiply. So in this story, I can write 16 over x plus 2. This X will go on the other side, logic. Why I brought on the right hand side? Because many students try to multiply directly and become wrong. Why? Because this is called two fractions, fraction one, fraction two. 
and two fractions cross multiply not allowed single fraction cross multiply allowed now i'm going to multiply 16 as it is x plus 2 times 2 8 minus x so let's start 16 equal to 8x minus x to power 2 plus 16 minus 2x <coughs> sorry i bring x square left side and 8 and negative 2 give you 6 become minus 6 and 16 16 cancel i get a zero here okay now important part here what uh if i check it here i get a x common from here x minus 6 equal to zero i get two answers zero and six it means uh, it means understood that this is a point of intersection x value two is six and here x y value this is the value x one value is zero so point of intersections we got it zero and six <clears throat> and what he was asking find the coordinates of abc you know it very well uh, okay uh, like x zero is this point a if I plug in x0 in the place of this x, I'll get an a coordinate. If plus 6 in the place of x, I'll get a y coordinate of b also. Uh, you can, can I use this equation? You can use any one equation. You like above, line, or curve, no issue at all. So I'm going to use the equation of line. So 2y plus x equal to 8. 2y. <clears throat> Let me check. Yeah, 2y plus x. Here I'm placing y x 0. Okay, wait a minute. And y becomes 4. It means 0, 4, 0, 4, x 0, y 4 is a coordinate of coordinate of uh, a. Okay is a coordinate and now i'm going for the other one uh, this b coordinate i'll plug in in the same equation six will come here sorry six will come in the place of x so 2y plus x equal to 8 and i'm replacing 2y plus 6 equal to 8 6 goes there and subtract you got 2y equals to 2 and y becomes 1. So b coordinate, uh, x is 6, y is 1. So alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, I hope so you got a point. <clears throat> what missing left now? C coordinate, which is the most important, how to get C coordinates. But one thing is very important sentence written here. I did not focus before, and I'm focusing. The point C lies on the curve, and the tangent of the curve is parallel to AB. It means this is the most important sentence here. Look, I go to show you. It means if I take a scale, I would draw a, a tangent at C. So this line and this line, I mean, this line, uh, wait a minute. So I mean, this line and this line are parallel to each other. Why logic? Very clearly, he mentioned himself, parallel. Parallel means same gradient um so what to do how to find it first of all i will find gradient of this line so 2y plus x equal to 8 uh i'm space is two maybe okay i think i have to find it here <clears throat> first of all 2y plus x is equal to 8 try to make y subject 2y equal to minus x plus 8 Divide by two, both equations, I got minus half x and plus four. So what is a gradient of the chain of the of the line? Gradient of line become negative half. Then what is a gradient of the tangent? So gradient of the tangent is coming negative half. So it means this this red color line has a negative half gradient. And uh, it means that first I will differentiate, and you know it very well. The gradient and, and the derivative are same. Gradient and derivative are they are same. So let's start. Y equals two. Y is equals to eight over x plus two. Recheck once again. Yeah. Now I'm going to bring it up. 
and you know it very well how to do it. Now differentiate. Logic, you can ask me, so what differentiating? Because, uh, uh, because derivative and gradient, they are same. <coughs> one is two and base derivative is one plus. This is a one, this is zero. And short way, negative eight over x plus two to power positive two. I got a gradient of, uh, sorry, I got uh, the derivative. Now, as we know that as tangent and the line are parallel. So I can do what? In the place of this gradient, negative half, I'm going to replace here. So I'm replacing here negative half. So negative half is equals to negative eight over x plus two to power two. Cross multiply this x plus two whole square and I got 16 minus and minus cancel out, minus minus cancel and two times two eight 16. The root of the both sides students, what happened? I got a plus and minus four. I have two options, x plus two is equal to four and x plus two is equals to minus four. Here I got two and here I got a minus six. And we, and uh, now one point is very clear here. Is it negative six possible here? No, no, no. Here, how x positive negative? Negative is here, only positive here. So here, no, no, here negative and here positive. So I have to ignore negative sign. I have to ignore negative. So the answer of C, X coordinate of C is two. This is two, but I'm looking for Y. But this time I can't put in line. I can put in equation of curve. When I put it in, in the curve, where? Here, two plus two, four out of eight, four become two. So Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So I can see here, y is equals to eight over eight over x plus two eight over x plus two so y becomes two y becomes two so c coordinate is coming two comma two because x is two y is two and i believe all of you understanding now go for the last part and that is he asking when the volume generated okay find the volume generated when the shaded region are bounded by curve and the line rotated up to six about x axis. Very interesting plan, how to do it. Uh, I just give you idea behind. This is a curve. Or I make it again here. And this is a line. Okay. And this is x axis. Okay. I make again here curve. Again, I make a line and this bowl shape I'm going to show you. So you can see that this shaded part, this shaded part, if I if I if I rotate about x axis, I get this kind of bowl shape. <clears throat> so lower limit, uh, here we have a six, here we have a zero. So zero to six, we have limits. And what is the way? Because this is called upper and this is called lower. So what is the rule of the volume? Let's start. Bismillah rahman rahim uh, Volume formula in this situation is 0 to 6. Let me, let me check 6 or what? Yeah, 6. Upper is a... Okay, we, have, we are bound to make subject here. Why? We are bound. So why becomes what? Uh, 8 minus x by 2. Hold on, x goes there, uh, and this 2 multiply with, with divide later on. So I can do another way even. What, what the other way? I think this is better to do it. Okay. Anyway, this is part is it clear. Um, 8 minus x by 2. 8 minus x divided by 2. 8 minus x. And put power to y logic because we have always formula uh, square of that. And again, here square will come. Here zero, here six, outside five. Now, what is his uh, planning for curve? Where is the curve equation? <clears throat> Eight over x plus two. Eight over x plus two. 
So I believe the planning is clear. Planning is very, very clear. Okay. And I think just review eight, let me re reconfirm. Eight minus X divided by two, eight minus X divided by two. So line is clear. Curve is eight over X plus two. 100% mm, correct. Now I'm starting now expanding. So all of you know students, what is way of, can I, can I, <clears throat> here I can do what? Zero to six, lot of algebra here. Eight minus X to power two and square of two give you four. And this four is under the, under the pi will come out. So I mean, I mean pi by four and zero to six limit and eight minus X to power two DX. So this part is ready for integration, but what about the second part? So square of eight separate, I mean like this, 64 and square of the denominator separate, but can I differentiate directly? No, 64 will come outside, will become 64 pi and zero to six. And this, I will bring it up because we can't integrate or even differentiate if the function in denominator. So now I'm ready to integrate. <clears throat> and uh, whenever inside the power of function is one and the power of function is one, we can no need to expand it. Here is very hard, we can do it directly, definitely not possible, but here power two, some student expand, some student don't expand. Both are correct, but no need to expand on waste time. <clears throat> what is integration? Increase the power by one divided by same into base derivative. And what is that? A eight has a zero, I'm not writing. And X has a one, so zero minus one is minus one. I believe all of you understanding up till here. <clears throat> Increase the power by one, I got minus one by minus one into one, this one come from where base derivative, zero to six. Uh, don't put limits at this level. I know many students, they put limits and they get a uh, chance of mistake increases. This is minus three, I bring outside, three fours are 12, even I write minus outside. This make question easier. If you don't bring outside, no issue at all. Similarly, this minus one comes out and minus and because it's below 64 pi by minus one. And inside I have it power negative one, I must bring in denominator. Power become positive. Now, so after this, what is the next uh, plan? I'm going to finish it now. Now plug in the limits and that's it. Inshallah, answer will come. So negative pi by 12, first I plug in six in the place of x and eight minus six give you two, two to the power three is eight. Eight comes here. When I plug in zero in the place of x, uh, x okay, got eight to power three. So I think this part we can finish. Minus minus plus 64 pi, same story. When I plug in six in the place of x, six plus two, eight minus. When I plug in zero, this become one over two. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think so, let me recheck, uh, yes. Now a matter of typing in calculator and I'm going to type it and uh, negative one over 12 times two, uh, eight minus eight to power three. Okay, this one done. And second plus 64, uh, in the bracket one divided by eight and minus one divided by two, an answer is coming 18 pi all together, unit cube. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I believe the point is very clear. Please don't take risk without simplification. Don't put limits, okay? Some students I've seen that directly there's expression and they try to give answer directly. So a lot of chance of mistake. I hope so. You understood the whole paper.